Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And today's video is going to be the start of my study with me series. And I am diving into the book of James. Now I know that I'm studying with you guys the gospel according to John and I'm also still personally in Mark but I decided to give Mark a pause only because I think the Gospels are now getting to me just because I've been in the Gospels now for almost a year. I started out with John, then I jumped into Luke, and then I started Mark, but then I went back to John to restudy it myself to study it with you guys again. So I've studied John now maybe three times, and I guess because I studied John three times, and I studied Luke, and then I'm in Mark that I just got stuck in Mark and it was overwhelming so I decided to dive into the book of James and thankfully Miss Kim Cash Tate is doing a series on the book of James I believe she now has chapters 1 2 and 3 up I've only watched chapters 1 and 2 I haven't jumped into chapter 3 yet because I want to go back to the beginning and um to the basis of what I do so I'm basically going to show you guys in this video how I set up to study a new book of the Bible I do have my little notebook here which has all the information that I um, got from Miss Kim Cash taking her study so this was chapter one and chapter one she did in part two parts that's part two and then here was chapter two so I just need to catch up on chapter three but I'm going to wait because I need to go into doing my um, basic kind of background information on the book of James. So I do have my paper set up. And normally what I do, what you guys will see is I normally put the book's title at the top. So I just use some stickers for this and I have James. And then I'm going to put the basic, the five basic, um, five W's and H one H and then I also have my notebook here my binder rather this binder which has some other things like some study guides and I do have two study guides that I have um, for the book of James so I have a journey through James that was written by bold and beloved and I'll leave a link down below to that and it's quite long um, I'm not even sure how many pages it is but I think it was over 30 pages and then I have the Bible study of James from Joyce Meyer, which was a total of 72 pages. So I'm going to show you guys close up in the video. But okay, here is the first study. And then here is the second one. So what I am going to do in this first video is walk with you guys of how I set up the basics of the information before diving in and then I'm going to break it down into doing chapter one then chapter two um, again I'm already technically on chapter three but I'm basically going back after watching Kim's videos um, to restudy it myself I am going to show you guys the Bible that I'm going to use um, though I do go through all of my Bibles before I even dive into the word itself so I'm going to show you guys and hopefully this works um, out great the way I want it to and I hope you guys enjoy this so if you want to see this video and how I study and I'm going to be studying a new book stay tuned okay guys so I am now at the table with everything set out I have about eight Bibles out and um, you should be able to see the pan of that Bible set up right now. I have seven on the table plus this one right here which you guys already know is the uh, if it focus is the New King James Spirit Filled Life Bible. I did a review on this Bible already but I have this Bible out. I also have my um, Thomas Nelson's Women's Study Bible, my CB CSB Worldview Study Bible, my CSB CSB Women's Study Bible, the NLT Everyday Models Bible for Women, I have my A.W. Tozer Bible, my Archaeological Study Bible, as well as my Thompson Chain Reference. And it sounds like a lot, but this is how I start off doing everything. So I do have my notes from, like I said, when I was studying um, with Kim's video. So this is James Chapter 1. This is part two of the chapter one, and then chapter two, and then chapter three will go here when I dive into that. So I'm actually going to put this aside for now. I have my paper already set up with the title, which says James. 
I have that set up already. And the binder. So let me flip through quickly. This binder I got from Dollar Tree. But um, inside, I just have some stuff. So I got a sneak peek of the of Fire and Lions by Masu Andrews. Just in case I wanted to uh, review the book. So I have that in here. I have my Bible reading plan, which I go through when I... Um, go through a chapter of the bible so this is the old testament new testament on the back this just has like extra stuff so i'm going to take these out because these pages go with this study so this is the a journey through james and it's written by i don't know let me just move this and see if i can get this going get my coffee i mean my tea sorry it's my pumpkin spice tea i told you guys about this in the other video i love this tea but um Okay, so this study is by Bold and Beloved. I'll leave a link down below to where you can get this study from. And um, pretty much, they go through the book of James. They give you a reading plan. I don't go by the reading plan. I just go by chapter. There's five chapters. So she starts off with the basics of who, what, when, where, why, outline and breakdown and stuff like that. And then she goes by chunks of verses. So what I started doing was um, whatever I didn't know already, I was underlining. Hopefully you guys can pick that up on the camera. Um, and then there are like applications where you can apply ways that you can apply this and then questions you can answer, which I really wanted to be able to utilize, which is why I'm going through James over. So again, like I said, that's from this. And then I also have the one from Joyce Meyer, which I say this in my haul videos. If you don't care for Joyce Meyer, it's okay. Just don't come on my channel with the negativity about her and her preaching and all that. But um, I do enjoy her preachings and her sermons, so it is what it is. But I have her Bible study of Jane's. This is 72 pages long. It's her action plan, which is a personal study guide. Um, and she, sell she has a lot of these on her website. For different books and stuff like that but um it goes through the book of james it starts off with the history and then chapter by chapter um she starts off at certain verses i believe this is the amplified translation because that's the translation she prefers um but it has questions and things of that matter again something else that i wanted to utilize because i'm going through the book of james so these pages here are just like extra art pages that came in this one from Bold and Beloved, which I'm thinking about putting in like frames so that I can have them. I like that one. And I printed this out from my computer here at home. And here's the last one, which I really, really love this one. So, um, I kept these. I did hole punch them, but it was just too much. And my phone is not on mute. <laughs> so, let's mute that. But, um, okay. But, um, it was just too much in this binder. So, I took them out. I still have them for future use. Like I said, I'm going to put them inside of, um, picture frames. But I have this. But I'm going to do everything in parts. So like I said, this first part is going to be doing the basics of my 5Ws and 1H. So I have this. I need to actually grab one of my older ones because I forgot the setup, which is crazy. So give me a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just went and got the one that I did when I studied John the first time. And you guys should have seen the How to Bible Journal Without a Journaling Bible because this is how I started out before I got a um, uh, journaling Bible. I was just using regular paper, but um, I wanted to get this for the first page. So I was basically doing author time purpose. I feel like I was doing more than that, but we'll see as we dive along. So I have this just to see. So I'm going to use a pink pen for this study. Do I want to use a pink pen? No, I don't. Papermate. So I went and just grabbed my pink Papermate Flare pen, and then I also have this, which is the Pilot G207 pen. Um, I like to add color, so yeah, no real reason. <laughs> um, I also have other pens here, so I have two 
pins that are basic G Flex oil gel pins that I got from the discount store, black and a blue. Then I have my Pilot G2 in blue and a big brown stick basic pen in blue. This is a pen that I use in most of my Bibles. This is the one that I used when I was taking my notes for the study. And I have these to actually write on the paper. So, we have that. I'm going to start off with this Bible here. And I'm just going to show you the basics of how I do it. And then I'll come back later on. But um, as you guys can see, I marked up <laughs> chapters one. I went through the notes as well because the notes in this Bible are phenomenal. Thomas Nelson has Thomas Nelson has some really great study Bible notes, like study notes in their Bibles. Hopefully that made sense. But um, you guys can see how I was doing all of this, um, just marking up as I went along. And like I said, we're in chapter three now for Kim's video. But um, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. So going back. I think I marked up this one already, so I'm going to show you guys in another Bible. So basically what I do is I go through all the information and read it. So in study Bibles, you have your author information, your information about the date, the purpose, the content. This one has extra stuff as like far as personal application, how Christ is revealed, and how the Holy Spirit is at work. So I already went through this and underlined everything that needed to be underlined. So I'm actually going to move this to the side for now and bookmark it and come back to it. So I'm going to show you guys in another Bible, which is my other go-to Bible. This Bible I've done a video on. You can click the eye on the screen for that. It's the Women's Study Bible from Thomas Nelson in the KJV translation. This is the older version. Um, this is a pink cafe Olate design, but they do have newer ones that are um, prettier, and I do want a new one in the New King James translation, just because. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is the first Bible that I used when I studied, and I'm going to show you guys. This was the first Bible that I used. I, I told you guys in the video, but this is how I went through prior to having a journal Bible. This, this is how I would study. And my fiance is calling me, so let me tell him to call back. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't text him. I normally text him to remind him of making videos. But yeah, this is basically how I went through it. Like, I mean, I'd studied John in here. I also went through Romans, I believe, in this Bible as well. Yep. So, for those of you who always ask, do you need a journaling Bible? Not at all. I just got one just because I prefer to have my notes together. I'm not sure why that's like that, but... Let's just go to James so I can show you guys the process. Alright. So we're in the book of James. Um, and got my pen ready. And this is another thing. Be mindful of the pens you use because this is some serious heavy bleed through from I don't even know if this was a purple pen or a blue pen that I used. This is when I was like color trying to figure out my color code, which is why this color this has like several colors going over it. But um, that bleed through was heavy, so just be mindful. That's why I just use regular pens now and the Crayola Twistables. But um, I'm gonna start off with reading the basic information. So starting with the author, it says the author of this book was most likely James, one of the sons of Joseph and Mary, and thus the half brother of Jesus. So. I'm going to underline James, one of the sons of Joseph and Mary, half-brother of Jesus. James did not accept the claims of Christ until after the resurrection. I think that's important, so I'm going to underline that. And it tells you see 1 Corinthians 15 and 7. However, he eventually became an elder of the church in Jerusalem. So I'm going to underline elder in Jerusalem. Respected as a leader throughout the network of early churches. It tells you Acts 15, 6-21 concerning his role in the Jerusalem Council. Okay, so that's the basic information from this. I'm going to move on to the date. And I don't really read through all of it. I just kind of go to the section where it gives me a specific time frame. Because I like to be as um, close to the specific date. Just because so many Bibles have like so many different time frames, they never know. So this one, skipping through all of this um actually no, i'm gonna go back it says james was martyred in ad 62 so i think that's important to know um 
So it says James was written sometime between AD 48 and 62. So I'm going to underline that portion because I think that's the main thing that I need to understand. So background setting. Um, the book of James was probably written from Jerusalem where James serves as the pastor. So written from Jerusalem is important. I feel like that's key to understand. And I hope you guys can see this. And it's not too bright. But what I will do is zoom in. Hopefully this is a little bit better for you guys um, to see. And let me move this paper out of the way for now. Just for now. So again, like I said, writing from Jerusalem, I underlined that. So the next is purpose. It says James wrote this letter to offer practical pastoral advice to those Jewish believers who had been dispersed by persecution. Um... I'm going to underline offer practical pastoral advice. The audience, James references to reference to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad may have been figurative description of the body of Christians dispersed among the unbelieving nations, but the reference to a distinctively but the reference to a distinctively Jewish body of believers seemed to indicate that James was writing to Jewish Christians. So Historical believers seem to indicate that James, okay, blah, 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 events forced the laws. The Jews to flee their homeland of Judea. Here we go. Wanted these believers to stay on course with their mission. Instruction. To how they could continue to mature as Christian, urge them to take responsibility for their own spiritual progress. So we have that. Moving on to things, James was aware of the struggle of his re his readers would face. Um. Okay. So here we go. Words of encouragement. Urge to focus on victory. Provide practical advice to unify believers. Attain spiritual maturity. Develop faith by seeking wisdom from God. Remind them they have a choice. They had a choice. Give in to sin and suffer its tragic consequences or stand firm and experience maturing of faith. Yes. James maintained that the latter would produce patience. Okay. The prevalent theme right here is how to develop an enduring faith. So that's pretty much how I do it, you guys. So what I'm going to do now is speed through the rest of my Bibles. Because um, like I said, I'm going through all of my Bibles. So here's the next one. This is the Worldview. Oops, sorry, you guys can see that. Worldview Study Bible. CSB from Holman. And yes, I do have the HCSB, which is the older translation to the CSB. So I'm not going to use that. We're just going to stick with the CSB. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, but you're seeing I'm going to be going through specifically how I do this because a lot of you guys lacks in the last study with me video that I did that I actually split up. You asked if I could do more of a talking video. So I wanted to do this in a step by step manner and I figured James would be great one because it's only five chapters and two because I'm also doing the video with Kim Cash Tate. So in the next video that I do, you guys will see me. Um, actually starting off with chapter one and um, this video you're just seeing me set up the page so the rest of the video from here on might be sped up you might not hear me talking so just bear with me as I dive through all of these notes
getting ready to write. So what I'm going to do is take this paper off of the clipboard. And I got this clipboard from Office Depot. It was really, really pretty. And it was on sale. They had a bunch of these on sale. And I just had to have one because it's so pretty. But, okay. So. Where's my other paper? Okay. Here we go. So, starting off, because I have so many rivals here. Good lord. Um... Right now, it's about to get crowded, so bear with me, guys. Because I'm going to have to keep my Bibles somewhat open here on this table. Just because I have so many out. Okay. So I have my Bibles open. So I'm going to start off with author information. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this pink highlighter my camera a bit and I'm going to write author my handwriting sucks so bear with me right I'm gonna put bullet points with the black ink and then write my notes with the blue ink so the first thing I'm gonna write is who anything there is to know about James so basically who he is um, when he died, his relation to Jesus, um, what he did in the, the overall structure, I guess, of the Christian church and things like that. So I know that James is um, the son of Mary and Joseph. So James, son of Joseph and Mary. He is the half brother of Jesus, so sorry about that, you guys. I went to go reheat up my tea. So okay, so we have that he's a half brother of Jesus. Now, what I want to clarify is if he was a pastor or if he was um a bishop. They're saying bishop. Some books. Some, some of my books are saying bishop. Some are saying pastor. Mm. I'm gonna say. Um. Leader of the church. And Jerusalem and I don't know if it's bishop or pastor so I'm going to go back in and figure that out later down the line um, and I think the last thing I'm gonna write is that he was martyred in oh okay I have something else did not accept Claims of Christ until post resurrection. And all of my Bibles are saying that he was martyred in AD sixty two, so They all basically say the same thing. He was stoned to death. He was killed in AD 62. And I'm just going back through this to double check. But yes, they're all saying the same thing. Um, so I think that's the basics of what I want to know about James. So that's it for now, okay? Right? Yes. So now we're going to go on to time and setting. So time slash setting. And you guys can do your notes differently. I just like to have the kind of five 
W's and one H so that I know when I'm going through. So, um, the date in most of my Bibles are saying between 48 and 62 AD. This one says 4862, 4852. What does this one say? 4862, this one, 46 and 60. So the general consensus, consensus is saying 48 to 62. So. And, um, in Jerusalem, pretty much. Right, yeah. It's pretty much. So, now we're going to go on to the who. Slash. What is it called? Who slash recipients, which are Jewish Christians? sure but yeah okay Jewish Christians I'm gonna now move on to the themes or purposes because I feel like theme and purpose are the same thing nope actually I'm gonna do them separately so the themes we have quite a few themes. I think there's five, maybe even more. So I'm going to make five points right here. Um, which Bible is it? So, one of these Bibles breaks down the themes. I'm trying to find where it is. And in which Bible? It's not this one. Here we go. Trials and Temptations, Divine Wisdom, um, Wealth and Poverty, This season, I'm just going to put tongue. Um, prayer. And the last one is faith into action. These are pretty much the six things that each Bible really uh, seems to be discussing. From what I've read, um, purpose and purpose for me is a little bit more in-depth than like the theme so I know that this talks about like trials and tribulations and um, trials and temptations wisdom and you know wealth and poverty but specifically in what aspects so that's what I look at when I'm writing down purpose so um It analyzes and 
nature of genuine faith. There was another one. Oh. Develop enduring faith. I can close this Bible up. I'm going to write down all of my notes and then come back to you guys. Okay, ladies, I'm back and um, I'm done. So basically, here is how my sheet looks when I start out with studying a book of the Bible. As I study that actual book before studying the scriptural text, if that made sense. But um, we have the author information. So we already know that I'm studying James because I put it here at the top. So the author is James, who is the son of Joseph and Mary. He's the half-brother of Jesus. He was a leader of the church in Jerusalem. He was either an elder, a bishop, or pastor, one of the three. Um, he basically did not accept the claims of Christ until post-resurrection, and he died in AD 62. The time and setting was in Jerusalem between AD 48 and 62. He wrote to the Jewish Christians, specifically the converts, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to say converse in parentheses. Um, the things within the book of James, there are six. So there's trials and temptations, divine wisdom, wealth and poverty, speech, which is your tongue and its power, prayer and faith and action, how to live it out. The purpose of the book of James is as follows. So it analyzes the nature of genuine faith. It is about develop, um, how to develop enduring faith, practical aspects of Christian conduct or behavior, uh, the call for obedience to the law of God, true religion versus false religion, challenges you to put your faith into action, demonstrating the validity of your experience with Christ and godly living. On the back, I have other notes, which um, other notes are basically things that don't particularly pertain to the other sections. So I have that it echoes the Old Testament wisdom literature such as Proverbs, that it aligns with Jesus' teaching um, in the Sermon on the Mount. It is realistic. It has realistic views of the effects of sin in human life, how it only mentions Jesus twice and the Holy Spirit once, which again goes back into it um, kind of having that echo of Old Testament wisdom. Um, it teaches that God saves through the actions of the implanted word. It has an emphasis on duty over doctrine. He gives 54 commands that it's a fundamental emphasis on personal growth and spiritual life and sensitivity in our social relationships. How Christ is the object, should be the object of our faith and what dead faith is. And then the key text according to my Thompson Chain reference is um, first James 1 and 27 and 2 and 26. So, that's basically how I get the basics of everything set up. This video is probably like an hour long, so um, it literally doesn't take me that long. It takes probably like 30 minutes to do this portion, but I wanted you guys to really see how I dive into this and really get as much information prior to studying so that I know when I'm going to study the word, the context it's written in. It's very important to understand the context of the book of the Bible that you're studying so that you can understand the scripture in that context because a lot of people tend to take scripture out of context and it's not really good to do that because then you're basically misinterpreting the word of God and um, getting it wrong which we don't ever want to misinterpret his word we want to understand his word the way it was written for us to understand so that's what I do I basically do author time and setting who it's written to the themes the purpose and then I jot down any other notes that there are to know as well as key text within the bible such as key verses um and yeah that's it so the next time we dive into this i'll be showing you guys how i'm going to do my notes 
Um, again, for these videos, I will be using the New King James translation, and I'll be using this beautiful Bible here, which is the NKJV Spirit-Filled Study Bible. Um, I will also be using my NKJV Journal of the Word journaling Bible as well as regular paper. So I'm going to be doing this in multiple ways because I want you guys to really see how I dive into breaking down and studying on my own because I do a lot and this is basically how I do the notes for the John study because I know a lot of you guys are curious as to how I get all the notes and things down. So I'm going to walk you guys through this in this series. Um, it's James. It's only five chapters and because I'm doing this along with Kim Cash Tate, it's not going to be too complicated to do. So the next video, which will probably be next week, will be me showing you guys exactly how I break down um chapter one and i'm not going to do a lot of verses i'm probably going to do a few of the verses um from chapter one simply because i already marked up this bible <laughs> so i'm probably gonna um show this to you guys in my woman's study bible how i like read it through because i've already marked up these verses and stuff so that's it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye